Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Fallout 4, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we entered the Mass Fusion building, and we grabbed ourselves a beryllium agitator. I know what that is. I'm a scientist. Just kidding. I don't. But nevertheless, we need it for uh, Liberty Prime to power him, because of course the Pridwin's engines can't power him, so we need to go grab this thing. Whoa! Uh, Optional, assist Brotherhood forces in the lobby. I'll help hold them off. Just make sure you get the agitator out of here. Yeah, but I have an optional objective, Proctor Ingram. I need to complete it. I need to complete everything. I must complete everything. Alright, so I don't like this optional objective because basically we just have to... Oh, that's weird. It puts us, like, behind these guys. Uh, basically, we have to help all of these Brotherhood soldiers fend off these synths. And you basically have to just sit here and, yeah, shoot them for a while until the game's like, Alright, that's enough. Boom! That missile didn't even kill- Whoa! What are you doing, buddy? Alright. Well, you want to get close to me? Then you get that. How'd you like that? Did you like it? Yeah, so, against my better judgment, we'll stay here and we'll complete this optional objective, even though I don't really want to. But, oh well. Alrighty, we did it, even though there's like a billion red blips on our compass. I think this is the spot where if you sided with the Institute, it probably happened here too i just didn't notice it but if you side with the institute you come out with all of the robots right and then like a brotherhood of steel knight drops down with a giant thud in his power armor it was so cool uh that probably happened here as well but like i said we just didn't see it Alrighty, so we needed to return to the boston airport why did it just say we discovered the mass fusion building we were literally there for like an entire episode all right let's go talk to proctor ingram oh my god we are getting pretty damn we're getting pretty close to the end of this uh, main story here, and I want to end with it. I don't want to like go do other stuff. I don't want to finish this and then go do uh, do other stuff and then uh, end the LP. Hmm. Well, let's just go ahead and turn in this quest. I'm not, in the mood for talking. I'm not even talking to you, woman. Jeez. Proctor Ingram. Glad to see you're still in one piece. I wouldn't have made it without your help. That's funny. I seem to remember having to talk you into letting me come along. Anyway. We shouldn't stand around here talking. We've got a lot of work to do. We really should just stay out of each other's way. Well, this is it. The moment of truth. We've pre-programmed Liberty Prime's battle coordinates into his navigational processor. As soon as he's under his own power, he'll head straight for the Institute. Elder Maxon wants you to follow him, and make sure he arrives at the CIT in one piece. I've checked every wire and every bolt on the big guy. All we need to do is plug in the agitator, start Prime's reactor, and cross our fingers. We don't need luck, Ingram. We've got Yeah, you. those are not we patrolman sunglasses. Luck. Look, I discussed it with Elder Maxon, and we think you should be the one who has the honor of starting Liberty Prime. Just plug the beryllium agitator into his reactor port, then head back down here and press the transfer button. Good luck, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Okay, yes, once we do what Ingram just told us to do, that pretty much sets us on the path to finish this main story. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go talk to the Minutemen because we just got a quest related to them. And then after we're done with them, we're going to do all the side quests that I want to do that I think are cool enough to do in this LP. I have some and then we'll just finish off the LP. I mean, what else can we do? There's not like guilds or factions in this game. It's not like Fallout 3 there, where there are just a handful of quests, but they're all big. There's a ton of quests and we're not going to do them all in this LP. So yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Let's take a look at our Pip-Boy now. Uh, we have form ranks. Talk to Preston Gravy about the Institute. Let's do that. Alrighty, back in good old sanctuary. Shut up, Mama Murphy. I never want to talk to you again. General? I've made my choice. The Institute is now our enemy. I always knew that day was coming. The question now is what are we going to do about them? I say we attack. Take the fight to the Institute. I'm all for that. But we don't have any way to hit them yet. You should give Sturgis that holotape with the Institute data on it. With any luck, he can use it to find some way in. In the meantime, we can focus on building up our strength while Sturgis is working his end. No half measures. This time, when we attack, we finish the job, once and for all. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it, that can only help our cause. 
Uh, Gravy, what if I told you I had a giant robot at my disposal? What? Why is it making me do this? Okay, this must be like a different... I, I don't... I never did this. This must be just like the Minutemen side quest... Or the Minutemen faction um, line of quests. Recruit more settlements for the Minutemen. Yeah, not gonna do that. Definitely not gonna do that. But that's interesting. There's no achievement, so I figured there was no way... I thought maybe just the Minutemen would help you out with whoever you sided with. But I guess not. I guess it has its own thing. Um, okay. So, retrieve the network scanner, Holotay. Oh, actually, we do have a, a quest for this. Okay, let's see where that's telling me to go. Looks like we need to grab it from Ingram. Okay, let's do that. Alrighty, I wonder how this is going to work. I've never done this. So, I think we're just going to ask Ingram for the tape. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Do you remember that holotape of Institute data I gave you? I really need it back. I'd appreciate knowing why you want me to hand over highly sensitive data first. I'd like to share the holotape with the Minutemen. I think they need it as badly as we do. I'm not sure why you trust them with it, but it's up to you. After all, you're the one who got it in the first place. Here's the original. Already made myself a copy. Oh, that might be a problem. We need to insert network scanner holotape. Yeah, I was gonna say, we already did that. Why would we need to do that again? Okay, back to Sturges. Alright, buddy. What can you do? Oh, why are you behind that wall? I should just assume everything's gonna be one wall away from where I need them to be. What's going on? Here's a holotape I happen to have. Full scan of the Institute network. Well, alright. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. We need a way to bring the fight to them. Let's hope we got something we can use. Well, they sure aren't gonna fall for that teleport hijacker trick twice. Even if it wasn't a smoking pile of scrap metal. <sighs> All the good stuff on here is gonna be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Okay. That gave us a decent chunk of experience, at least. But... I guess now we just need to wait? Completed Banish from the Institute. What? How did we complete that? I have no idea what's going on, to be honest, because I never did it this way. But anyways, um, I guess we'll just take a look at the quest that we have now. So that's Minutemen. That's going to complete the main story. That is Minutemen as well. That's a pretty cool quest. Minutemen, Minutemen... Recover the haptic drive at Rocky Narrows Park. What is that? Oh, that's the Brotherhood of Steel. Just a regular, like, Radiant quest. Let's see. Same thing. Same thing. Wow, we really don't have any dynamic um, side quests at the moment, do we? Let's take a look at the miscellaneous quests that we have. Yeah, the detective cases. Those are kind of cool. There's only two. The Gilded Grasshopper is one of them. See Abbott about the wall? Nope. Nope. Explore the combat zone. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the location of my favorite side quest in this game. And uh, I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, so if you guys have no idea about this quest, you are in for a treat. That's all I'm going to say. But obviously, straight ahead, we have a giant ship that has been cast from the water and placed on top of a building. We've also leveled up. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and max out intelligence because intelligence is honestly going to help us out immensely with this quest specifically. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. Depending on what you need... I may be able to help. The fire wind holds true, then. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Not the double quick, sir. Okay, last voyage of the USS Constitution. That is the USS Constitution up there. We just met a robot named Looker. Or no, sorry, Lookout. And if you couldn't tell, he has sort of a piratey accent, which is kind of cool. So we need to go ahead and meet the captain of this ship. Let's just take a look at that quest real quick. Meet the captain. There we go. Pretty cool Pip-Boy animation. 
Uh, fun fact, the first time I tried to do this quest, I had no idea how the hell to get over to the captain. And it looks like that's going to remain true right now. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. You have to go up these stairs, and then over here there's going to be a little hatch that we can enter. USS Constitution. Alrighty. Looks like we have even more robots. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable defenses, make way. Midshipmen, stand down. Stand down, I say. This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Warning. Overdue for unidentified intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Unable to comply. Stand down! That's an order! And for God's sake, use the accent! I, Captain, standing down. How would a protector on use an accent? They always have the same voice. So if you're not getting what's going on here, basically we have a ship filled with pirate robots. And that's pretty damn cool, isn't it? Uh, one thing I just realized is that we have regular sunglasses on. What the hell happened to my patrolman glasses? Because we had patrolman glasses, didn't we? I don't know. Either way, we're going to drop this because I don't want those lame glasses. We're going to keep an eye out for any uh, patrolman glasses. Okay, let's head to the top and to the deck. Alrighty, and you must be the captain. Mr. Navigator, have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the congressional army. First mate, Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here, on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. And that's one of the funnier lines in this whole game. Weatherby Savings and Loans is the building that this ship is stuck in. That's quite a predicament. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er do wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. What a singular request! Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But, as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's person. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few warning shots usually suffice to scare that rabble off. The cannons are ready. So one of the reasons this quest is super cool is because if we go over here, we have a circuit breaker. And if we switch it on, the ship freaking fires can't... Wow. Wow. A raider threw a grenade with such accuracy. <coughs> Excuse me, a raider threw a grenade with such accuracy, it landed on top of this deck and hit me. Crippling me. Well, that was unfortunate. Okay, so it looks like raiders are attempting... Or scavengers, actually. They're not even raiders. 
um, are attempting to board the ship, take our booty. Uh, this thing does have a cooldown, but every now and then you can switch it back on. And as you can see, the cooldowns... No! Oh my god, they did it again. Okay. Yet again, during this LP, we are running low on stim packs. That's not good. Wow, this Protectron is dead. Okay. You should be ready now. So satisfying. Alright, let's take out our hunting rifle. And finish off these guys. Let's see. Where are they holding off? There you are. Alrighty, that took forever, but we did it. Looks like we need to talk to the navigator and the boson. I never I never heard that word before. That's a weird word. Alrighty, let's see. Over here we have Boson. Presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain. Okay. Welcome to the mission. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Alrighty. Repair or replace power cables. Optional grab power cables. There they are. Okay, looks like we need to open up this lid and repair this. The primary power cables powering many USS Constitution systems are badly frayed and damaged. Intelligence 3 plus salvage replacement power cables. I don't think this matters, whichever one you choose, uh, but let's go with this one. You take wires from redundant and non-functioning systems, then replace the broken power cable. Sweet. Okay, looks like we need to go down here and do the same exact thing. Boom, boom. Alright, and... Do we have any more? We do indeed. This lid's already open. Isn't that great? Alright. I think that's about it. Talk with Boson. I don't know why they made it like this. As you can see, we can go up this set of stairs, but over here, these are blocked. Like, you have to go up through one each time on each floor. It's just tedious. Hey, Boson. Courses through the Constitution's veins again. Her systems long starved, flicked to life. <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to mind further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to our shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Don't worry, I'll get you up and running. Only for you, sir. Power relay coils. Not a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely. They would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seeds. Okay. Repair or buy a replacement power relay coil. So as you can see, if you have a lot of intelligence, like I said, it makes this quest a lot easier. A series of power relays distributes power to all ship systems. The voltage is highly erratic because one of the power relay coils is badly corroded. Power relay coils are relatively common and can probably be found in many salvage shops. A sufficiently skilled repairman may be able to repair the coil. Repair the damaged coil. You shut down the power and expertly clean the coil. Then you reinsert the relay coil and cycle the power on. Now the power is steady throughout the ship. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, that's all we needed to do. Let's talk with Boson once more. Boson. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. Alas, we cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir. Huzzah! Well, you're very welcome, Boson. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttlebutties, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Alrighty, we've done the easy part of the quest, as long as you have a decent level of intelligence. Now we need to go down here, and as you can see, like I said, we can't go down through this way because it's blocked. So we need to go to the other side of the ship. 
and go down this way. I just don't know why they made that design choice. Although these ships, or this ship, seems exactly like the model ships from uh, Skyrim, don't they? Every ship that you would go in. They're very similar. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy down here. Why did it say Mr. Nav- wait a second, it is Mr. Navigator. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation 1. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I can help. Where is it? Stolen by human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Alrighty. We need to recover the guidance chip from those scavengers that attacked the ship previously. And we will do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.